From giant caves full of crystals to magical mountains, here are 11 of the Earth's most beautiful geological wonders. Number 11. Arashiyama Bamboo Grove Located in Kyoto, Japan, this bamboo grove is one of the most photographed sites in the city. A little in the outskirts, this place has been a popular relaxing destination since the year 794 AD, when nobles would come to enjoy the natural setting. Arashiyama is very popular during the fall and during cherry blossom season. The bamboo groves provide a sense of peace and relaxation. There are paths that cut through so you can go for a nice walk or bicycle ride. When there is a light wind, the tall bamboo gently sways back and forth as the sun peeks through the canopy. It is close to the entrance of the Tenruji temple and can get very busy, so it is best to go first thing in the morning when it's still peaceful. As soon as you can, you'll just have to go and enjoy the magic for yourself. Number 10. Antelope Canyon If you think water and rock don't mix, you'd be wrong. In fact, they combine to produce the most stunning geological results, as Antelope Canyon shows. Located a stone's throw, see what I did there, from the city of Page in Arizona, it's both ancient and modern. What do I mean by that? Well, the site, lived on and owned by the Navajo Nation, is not only part of history, but also a popular tourist destination. On top of that, it's insta-famous. Antelope Canyon is famous for its elaborate orange and red colouring. Stunning shafts of light shine down, creating amazing photo ops. The site is comprised of two sandstone canyons, formed by erosion from powerful flash flood water. The name of these types of features is Slot Canyon, called that because of their long, narrow and deep shaping. The flood water usually travels from miles away and is incredibly powerful. These canyons are beautiful but deadly, as tragically demonstrated in 1997. No less than 11 people were killed when a wall of water struck the area. Visitors are drawn to the location because of the many pictures taken and uploaded to social media. One of these snaps is actually the most expensive on record, Phantom by Peter Lick, which sold for a cool 6.5 million. Number 9. Blue Hole When sinkholes are mentioned in the news, it's typically to do with some kind of disaster on land. However, marine sinkholes are different, and the amazing Great Blue Hole of Belize is a treasure trove of marine life and ancient history. This bluest of blue wonders, formed from limestone and measuring 984 feet across and 400 feet deep, is thought to date to around the last ice age. That makes it approximately 14,000 years old. How do we know it's that old? Because the company Aquatica Submarines took a trip down there in 2018. They wanted to create a 3D map of this beautiful and mysterious place, and what they discovered did not disappoint. For example, the varied forms of life stop short at 90 meters, owing to the presence of a hydrogen sulfide layer. There are things under that layer, but they're dead, as the layer cut off their oxygen. While the remains include conchers and crabs, they also sadly included two human beings. Experts also saw stalactites down there, meaning the place was once a cave that was eventually submerged by rising water. There's actually limited time available to check it out, as sand is gradually building up inside the hole. Balez's Great Blue Hole is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, but that doesn't mean it escapes the forces of nature. And now for number 8, but first be sure to subscribe to Epic Wildlife if you haven't already, and let me know which place you'd like to visit in the comments below. Number 8. Cretaceous Paleogene Boundary Geological wonders can really surprise us. They aren't all huge chunks of rock or eye-catching fossils and stuff like that. Some can be pretty small, but highly significant to our understanding of what goes on with planet Earth. A classic case is the K-PG boundary, or the Cretaceous Paleogene boundary. This sediment layer, about the width of a human finger, is an astonishing 66 million years old. You can find it running through rock all around the world, from the Netherlands to Alberta, Canada. It represents the end of the Mesozoic Era, and the beginnings of the Cenozoic Era. How do we know this? Well, although it looks like a little thing, the KPG boundary makes a big splash in an archaeological sense. That's because it records the time where it's believed a 6-9 to nine mile wide meteorite hit the Earth, causing the extinction of the dinosaurs. Three quarters of life is thought to have been wiped out, with the boundary appearing to be evidence of this. 
The famous Alvarez hypotheses of 1980 first put forward the idea of such a catastrophic event, and the boundary contains high levels of iridium, a chemical linked to space rocks. Sounds like he had a pretty strong argument. Number 7. Crystal Cave The Sierra de Nica mountain in Mexico is an impressive enough geological spectacle as is, but it's what's beneath the mountain that interests us most. At the start of the century, a mining company went down there to drain the area looking for stuff to make a profit on. Situated in Chihuahua, Mexico, the underground mine is highly automated, ore is crushed and transported to the surface by a conveyor belt. 60,000 litres of water per minute is pumped out of the mine to prevent flooding, and groundwater is just 110 metres below the surface. Mine operations continue 740 metres below groundwater level. What they discovered came as a surprise. Giant crystals. When I say giant, I'm not exaggerating. At their biggest, 40 foot in length and 13 foot wide, they look like something out of science fiction. Made from the mineral, gypsum, they formed naturally in super steamy 136 degree temperatures. Of course, what's good for crystals isn't great for humans. The level of humidity down there is dangerous. Needless to say, this attraction did not welcome casual visitors. The air temperature can go up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, with humidity of 90 degrees, making it one of the most extreme climates on the planet. Not many were allowed inside to begin with. The cave in which the crystals were found is in a U-shape, measuring 98 feet long and 32 feet wide. If you wanted to check out the crystals for yourself, you're out of luck. 2017 saw operations stop, with water flooding the area once again to protect and preserve the crystals. Today, scientists hope for a Mexican government to agree to request UNESCO World Heritage status in the hopes of protecting these unique crystals for future generations to study and enjoy. Number 6. Door to Hell The Devaza Crater, or Door to Hell, is located in the country of Turkmenistan. Most of Turkmenistan is made up of the Karakum Desert. What better place for such a fiery, geological marvel? We should say the door to hell isn't a door as such. It's a blazing pit that's been burning for decades. The crater is 230 feet wide and 98 feet deep. The temperature down below is an eyebrow frying 750 degrees Fahrenheit. Why is a pit burning in the first place? The answer lies somewhat stinkily with methane gas. No one is certain how the crater came to be. Some believed it formed naturally, whereas others have more colourful stories. Apparently, in 1971, a group of geologists from the Soviet Union were looking for either gas or oil under the sand. When they started poking around, the ground collapsed and methane was released. No one wants methane in their lungs, so they decided to set fire to it and burn it off. All this time later, the flames are still raging. Soil collected from the door to hell revealed microscopic traces of life existing in the crater. The reason we know so much about the interior is through Canadian hothead George Coronas. In 2013, he was lowered into the pit where he spent a short period of time checking out the bowels of hell. Better him than us. Number 5. Fumaroles Yellowstone There's a lot going on beneath the Earth's crust. For example, intense heat generated at Yellowstone comes from the volcanic forces underground. Wyoming didn't know what hit it a whopping 600,000 years back. A huge explosion resulted in the Yellowstone fumaroles. They're a beautiful sight to be sure, but Mother Nature made them in an extremely dangerous way. What's a fumarole? Well, it acts like a true hotline between scalding hot magma and the surface of our planet. We associate this kind of thing with volcanoes. But what happens with a fumarole is that a chamber of magma is created when the hot stuff is pushed upwards, making a scary looking dome on the landscape. After a time, the dome pops like a zit. Sorry for that imagery. And what's left is a geological pockmark or caldera. With the lava still flowing and various gases in the mix, we get these amazing colours through geochemistry. Another name for a fumarole is a thermal basin, which sounds a lot more civilised. People also refer to them as thermal pools. That sounds cooler. However, there's nothing cool about a fumarole. If you're not careful, they will burn you to a crisp. Number 4. Giant's Causeway County Antrim in Northern Ireland features the most magical piece of geology on our list. The famous Giant's Causeway is so called because of Finn McCool. He wasn't a giant, but a medieval warrior chieftain. 
and in case you're thinking Finn McCool sounds a lot like a cartoon dog, his alternative handle is Fionn McCumhill. Either way, he's a formidable opponent. Yet even warriors bite off more than they can chew. And that's just what Finn is believed to have done when he took on the giant Ben Andoner. This hulking great dude had Ireland in his sights, so Finn decided to hurl bits of the coastline into the water, thus making a crazy looking causeway or road so he could reach Ben Andoner. This didn't work out too well, with Finn McCool beating a retreat and being chased by his enemy. Mrs McCool then tricked the angry Scottish giant, scaring him off by pretending her husband was a giant baby with a humongous daddy. That's just the explanation for tourists anyhow. If you're after something more level headed, then scientists believe the causeway was formed by lava from a volcano. This was then cooled by the sea, where it settled into a collection of columns. Over 40,000 of them no less. Number 3. Kalawia Volcano Found in the Pacific Ocean on the so-called Big Island of Hawaii, Kilauea is one fiery little shield volcano. What's a shield volcano? It's where a continuous flow of fluid lava creates a volcano with a low shield-like shape. Part of Kilauea has been erupting for several decades, meaning that the majority of the outside is made up of new lava. Well, it's several hundred years old, which is young in ancient volcano terms. This action-packed place is a tourist destination and has been drawing visitors since the early 19th century. It has a 3 by 5 km caldera formed approximately 1,500 years ago. The mighty crater of Halamaumau is said to be home to the fire goddess of Pele. Such is the power of Kalawia, its constant spewing of lava has changed the shape of the coastline, as well as swept away property. How much longer can this volcano keep churning out the hot sauce? It doesn't show any signs of running out just yet. The spectacle is amazing, but also pretty hazardous. Number 2. Mount Roraima Natives of the area think that Mount Roraima is the stump of a mighty tree that once held all the fruits and most vegetables in the world. They also believe that it was knocked down by Makuaima, the trickster god. This is the beginning of life as we know it, as when the tree crashed on the ground, life was released. From the top, the mountains look like they're floating on clouds, but from the bottom, you'll see they are so steep you can't imagine climbing them. Mount Roraima is the planet's greatest tipui, raising 9,000 feet above the rainforest. It's made from sandstone, pure quartz sandstone to be precise, and the epic site straddling Venezuela, Brazil, and Guyana is thought to have stood there for approximately 2 billion years. Rain is just part of life here, with a consistent stream of the wet stuff hammering down on top of the mountain. That in turn creates waterfalls. Roraima plays host to the tallest waterfall on record, Angel Falls. You'll need to set aside a few days if you want to venture up to the summit, though be careful if you do. Not just because of the high altitude, the plants on Tapui are carnivorous. Okay, we're exaggerating a little here perhaps. But if you're thinking this sounds like something out of a movie, you'd be right. Many say that Mount Roraima inspired the Hallelujah Mountains of Pandora in Avatar. Pixar was greatly inspired by Mount Roraima for scenes in their film Up. And Sir Arthur Conan Doyle wouldn't have introduced readers to the lost world had he not heard about the mysterious site of this geological colossus. Number 1. Tibetan Plateau Our last pick is arguably the most awesome. This mighty plateau in western China holds the region of Tibet and is populated by over 4 million people. Living at a height of 16,400 feet, there's few people that are hardier than the Tibetans, who have faced both environmental and political hardship over the decades. The area is known as the Roof of the World. As for how it came to be there in the first place, the honest answer is that nobody knows. This is an origin even we can't explain, but there are a lot of educated guesses out there. The longest standing theory is that 50 million years ago, or thereabouts, the plateau was dramatically realised when the Indian subcontinent and Eurasia did the geological equivalent of rubbing up against each other. However it happened, the Tibetan plateau is one of the most distinctive and deeply spiritual places on earth. In a way, it's a beautiful, natural mystery, better left unsolved. Thanks for watching, there are plenty more places that are amazing, so let me know if you'd like to see a part 2. Are there any beautiful geological wonders that you would like to visit? Have you ever been to any of these? Let me know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon.